presidential candidates. Ladies and gentlemen, first to the stage, representing the Democratic Party, Governor Zacharias Liberales. Next to the stage, representing the Republican Party, Senator Connor Zervidev. And the final candidate representing an independent party, filthy stinking rich billionaire, Jave Me Money. Hello, yes, yes, hello. Hello, all you peasants. Hello, hello, yes. Hello. This podium is quite dingy. All right, let's cut to the questions. In, in recent years, the U.S. has been subject to many mass shootings, from Vegas to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Guns are a big safety issue for many Americans. What is your current gun policy? I say we nail the Constitution to every door and put a gun in every hand. The more guns we have, the safer we are. Now, if I'm elected president, I will lower the concealed carry age down to famous. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. One day, mama's getting robbed, right? The robber reaches for a purse. Boom! pick a You pop out. Bam! Robber down. Then you go right back in you and wait four more weeks to be born an American hero. You say you have the, you say you have the right to protect yourselves with guns, right? But what if I off, offered an alternative way to do that without guns? I set up this website, www.liberalscriminalis.gov. Uh, when you get to the website, go up to the top left hand corner. Don't worry, nothing's on the right. Nothing is on the right on this website. Everything is on the left. Scroll down, and you'll see in tiny print, OJ Simpson, Simpson actually did it. Click on that. It'll send you to the black market. Once you get to the black market, type in the search bar. Ryan Reynolds and Green Lantern was actually a good movie. You'll be offered a whole bunch of non, uh, non-gun ways to defend yourself with. Antarctic pell pellets uh, with a slingshot, cannibalistic squirrels, uh, ra racist crows, and hydrogen bombs that can kill people within 20 miles of you. Everyone may be dead, but at least you def defended yourself without a gun. That's neat. His website has Mama's sandal with rusted nails on the bottom. Javé? Your gun policy? Ah, uh, yes, yes, excellent, excellent. Guns are bad, for a certain price. Now, if the liberals can provide me with a bribe of a large... I am in the middle of a debate. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Turns out guns are good. My resources, five million dollars, have told me so. If I am in office, 
I will sell bullets for $53.76 each. And I will make sure Mimani Corporations, my own, is the only company legally allowed to sell ammunition. Now, if the Democratic Party has 9.2 billion reasons why I should not do this, I shall not. There are proposals for Medicare for All, a government-run health care where every American citizen is provided with health insurance. But what about those with private insurance? Should they be concerned? And what will be the cost of Medicare for All? First off, who cares about private insurance? This is Medicare for All, as it covers all U.S. citizens. It covers everything for us U.S. citizens. They should be grateful. Okay then, what will be the cost? That is an excellent quest question. Asking questions shows intelligence. And intelligence is what we need in America. You didn't answer the question. No, no, bad idea, bad idea, yeah. Even Congress has to pay for their own insurance. Okay? We can choose the gold level Obamacare. At this level, the federal government subsidizes approximately 72% of the premium costs. Pay for your own insurance. And if you can, sucks for you. Yeah, you have no compassion. You're a psychopath. You have something wrong with I hate you. I have a version of Medicare for Americans that pays full cost for all services. All you need to do is to fill out this application, which will, you will pay $44.97 a month. There will be all payments, and the money will go directly into his account. Oh, 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 yes, it goes directly to the federal government to support the full payments for all services. Okay, nothing to do with my account at all. Straight to the federal government. Serve America as a government should. Yeah, this guy's a thief. Alex with my money. Universal income is a plan to pay U.S. citizens a thousand dollars a month. How will that affect our taxes? The, the rich are the targets. Large corporations would be paying 99% in income tax, while all us regular citizens pay 74% uh, income. T tell you what, I'll sweeten the deal. Uh, up, up at two thousand a month. So nothing changes. We're just paying ourselves. No, I would be paying you. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. 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 <laughs> Seems like the Democrats need universal intelligence. <laughs> Senate preservative. That was unnecessary. Just give your response. Anyways, what I say we need is is job creation. Instead of giving out money for nothing, just create more jobs. In one of my guest bathrooms, a spider, a cockroach, and a rat made an unholy alliance. And I haven't stepped in there in eight years. Okay? Now their descendants are holding it hostage. I will pay $5,000 to anyone who will go in there and rage war. And you must come out victorious. Because if you did, you will remain in my employment. For 20 an hour, I'm going to need you to walk the planes, Take out the trash, water the dogs, fresh wash the kids, and listen to my wife's complaints. Write them all down, crumple them up, and throw them in the garbage. See, that everything's a job. Everything's a job. Just create them out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, if, it's, if it can't be done, it's a job. If you can breathe, it's a job. If you can blink, it's a job. Create jobs, man. How about sitting here and listening to your lies? Yeah, Are you going to get paid yeah, for that? I'm going to need yeah, the money for that one, one, my friend. I have a better idea. How about universal outcome? Once a year, American citizens will pay $67 to a charity. After your first payment, you shall receive a certificate saying that you are a prestige member of Money for Schemes charity. And all that money goes to... Wait, what? The money goes to where? How did this guy get into the election? Climate change. Ice sheets from both Greenland and Antarctica are melting. The two have been losing mass since 2002. Okay? Antarctica's rate of change is 147 gigatons per year. What meaningful action will you take to reverse the effect of climate change? 
What can be done to keep matters from getting worse? People, 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 what are we panicking about? Climate change is not a threat. It's just nature. It's, it's also opportunity. A partner and I are investing in the new market. You've heard of waterfront property, right? What about waterfront back to side to side property? Yeah, that's right, I'm talking about waterproof housing. Water all around. If the, if the ice melts and the ocean rises, we'll just learn how to swim. People will develop webbing in between the fingers and toes to adapt to the water. No. Seafood businesses will flourish. They, you ain't a threat, they don't worry, man. Just learn to swim. Get, get some floaties in it. Learn to swim. We can solve the issue of climate change if we make it illegal to drive anything that is not a Prius. Mercedes and Mustang owners, they will get a life sentence for each cylinder. Sports car owners, you will get a lethal injection. Is this extreme? Yes it is. But you know what is extreme? Killing Mother Earth. It's blood for blood. Yes, climate change. It seems to be a thing that cannot be solved with money. But I did seek out a solution. I will take 45 billion of your tax dollars and I will pay NASA to send me on a shuttle to Mars. And there I will have them build me a very nice hall. Now, you say, how is this a solution and how does this solve climate change? This does not. I will sit on Mars and watch all you peasants destroy Earth. You are the pollution. Are these guys completely useless? Oh my, you must be mentally ill. Video games show violence in a manner that, glorif that glorifies it. Do you think video games encourage young adults to commit these crimes in reality? No, video games do not cause real world violence. Your, your average gamer is going uh, to be, uh, be a lonely guy in his grandma's basement. Do, do you really think that, uh, that, the, uh, that the man who's eating che Cheeto, Cheetos and has a mullet is going to uh, cause real, real world violence? No. I played GTA the other day. In that game, you are a successful gangster with money, with women. Do you think any of these gamers are going to be able to get, get that in real life? Hell no. So, so in summary, video games do not, call, uh, do not cause violence. They don't even cause success. Now this goes back to the gun talk. Guns aren't bad. It's these video games these kids are playing. It's making them go nuts. You know, they play one game and now they want to destroy their enemies. And who are young people's enemies? Old people. I don't want anybody's grandma to die. You know, back in the day, all I would do is just turn on my Xbox. And for some reason, in 2016, I wanted to vote for Hillary Clinton. Voting for a Democrat is the most violent thing you could do on this planet. Okay? It, it's the video games. Turn them off, take them away, burn them. You know? Get them away from your house. Purge your house in video games. And your kid will most likely not be the suspect in a mass shooting. Oh! Oh! Disappearing act, eh? Looks like the nut house walked out on us and went home. Excuse me, that is incorrect. I do not live in a home. I live in a castle. Well, there you have it, folks. Couldn't tell if I was at a political debate or at a circus. Please go out and vote. And enjoy the collapse of our country, everyone. You as fate, let me be your president. Let me be your president. Let me be your president. I said you as fate, let me be your president. Let me be your president. Let me be your president. President, hey.